Hi guys, uh, MacBook here. How's it going? Today I'm making a little review about the application I discovered. Uh, it's called Pulp Motion. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show them your uh, their site. I'm going to show you their site. So uh, here's the home page. Uh, it's by a company which is called Aquafetus. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Um, so I'm going to talk about Pulp Motion Advance, which I got. Um, and you've got also plug motion, which is actually almost the same, just a little more advanced and less advanced for the standard and more advanced for the advanced version, obviously. Then you, uh, all their products has a free trials. So um, there is no time limit and no functionality limit on their trials. The only thing there is is the watermark. They're going to put a watermark uh, in front of the video, which means uh, there are letters in front of your video you cannot remove. So they've got the new version, version 2.1 I think, which you can use with iPhoto and the new iPhoto 09, uh, the faces function. I'm sorry about that. Um, so I'm just going to start it up for you. Pulp Motion Advanced I've got. Uh, first when you start it up, you're going to have this little window here where you can choose to make a new composition. If it pops up, yeah. Here you can choose to make a new po uh, composition, um, open a uh, composition you already saved and open the recent. Uh, here you can check this box, don't show this panel again or just quit the application. So we're just going to take a new one. Here you can choose from a variety of templates uh, and once you chose one you can choose the variation, for example white and some of them have really a lot of variations and here are the credits credits with me which means the people who made it so Futurismo Zuga Kusaku or whatever it's called um, so um, that guy made these templates so then just hit the create button and it will start up here you've got your main window and here you've got your media manager which is to drag your media because you've got your drop your media zone here so you can just drop the media uh, but you can also um, sorry about that you can also just drag it from your desktop to the thing directly for example this I can just drag it to there here you've got the timeline for the media this is the commentary audio commentary if you want to talk between it and this is the music uh, here you've got the timeline of the video itself right here so here you've got the transition and so on uh, if you wanna get back to the media manager just click on this and it will pop up again so you can just drag things here pictures or um, audio music or video so um, I'm just gonna add a picture of me. Um, this is a photo booth picture. I mean, it's not literally me because I'm not that handicapped. Um, no offense. Uh, so first of all, you've got the intro, which is already preset. Um, composition title, composition story. Uh, once you go to here, this little star with the gear, um, you're gonna go to the composition settings. So, for example, your introduction here, you can go to the introduction tab or category and then choose the title, for example, Macbook and the second title, which is going to be Productions. Okay, then you can choose the font, the color, uh, about everything is uh, customizable. Um, you've got the timing of the Media duration is half a second here, but that is only for the pictures, so not for the videos. For example, for the videos, you have to select this video first, and then you can choose use custom duration, and you can choose how long it takes. For example, two seconds. Okay, then you can go back to the start and just press play, and this is just a, a quick one. So you can choose a lot of different styles and this is only going to take two seconds um, and yeah that's about it. So here you can, this is the title of the picture, sorry about that, 
you can just change it um, so you can change all that just by clicking here so here you've got those different categories uh, background you can also choose uh, the quality uh, uh, suggest to put it to the best music timer movie behavior aspect ratio which is in widescreen right now 16 by 9 zone of interest media note media date and media title uh, also media category uh, background you can choose for example you want the, the, the pink here a bit you want to put pink and there you want to I don't know orange this is not very nice but um, so there you go you can choose every uh, all the colors here all the different colors so um, then you go to the export window just by going to file export or command E on your keyboard and you've got a different uh, a few different options here so QuickTime iPhone iPod Apple TV iMovie 08 iWeb iDVD GarageBand Mail player or screensaver screensaver is actually pretty interesting because you can actually save it as a screensaver and use it as a screensaver on your Mac so uh, it's pretty nice for desktop computers but I have a MacBook so uh, you don't really see my screensaver often so here uh, the QuickTime you can choose the preset qualities or you can go to the custom QuickTime settings uh, then you can go to the options here you can choose uh, everything to put it as animation HD so uh, H264 which I do most of the time I already presetted this everything best uh, I put it to the best and here you can choose the output size so this is not exactly widescreen but it's the nearest um, and you'll notice that if you change the if you change the width or the height it's automatically going to change the height or the width again uh, to to make uh, proportional so that's pretty nice at the same time and then you can just hit the export button uh, here you can say export the desired length so then it's gonna cut off the end of the video uh, if you want it that uh, level of anti-aliasing uh, you can choose that you can even choose export without sound and then once you click the export button you can actually uh, choose the location where you want to save it okay so that's club motion I hope it's not too long um, so thanks for watching anyway um, thank you very much guys because I'm getting more subscribers um, so please refer me again and um, yeah peace